jméno je Vladimír Hoták. Hello, my name is Vladimír Hoták and I'm the producer of the animated feature film Even Mice Belong in Heaven. It is an adaptation of a Czech book of the same name and it's a beautiful film for children, parents and grandparents. Hey, it's not that I pooped myself out of fear. That's not true. <laughs> She pooped herself. She I'll show you. He's gonna eat her. <laughs> This animated feature film uses physical puppets, so we were looking for ways to produce them efficiently. 3D printing helped us a lot during the designing and production phase, because we could quickly turn computer models into real-life objects. Also, some of the puppets are made abroad, and it was important for the creators, the designers, to have a real three-dimensional model in their hands a physical representation of the puppet. Because we used 3D models, we could quickly adjust their designs, make them smaller, larger, adjust the proportions, and for this sort of work, 3D printing has proven to be a great tool. And we've been using it ever since. 3D printing helped us not only to develop puppets, but also to give them a great range of facial expressions. You see, animation in the Czech Republic is perceived as something traditional, something we've been doing here for decades, and we are proud of it. However, when we started making our film, we felt that the industry has gone a little bit stale. We saw what was going on in other countries, you know, the big budget projects. This entire genre has moved forward, and we wanted our project to be international so people could enjoy it around the world, not just in the Czech Republic. So we had to come up with puppets that are dynamic, with great looking movements and eye-catching facial expressions. We had to start pretty much from the scratch. And this is where 3D printing proved to be the most useful. When we started to design the characters, we already knew that we could do things that weren't possible before. Not only we could create physical objects from digital files, but we also knew we could easily print as many copies as we wanted. Sometimes trial and error is the only way forward and this is where 3D printers really helped a lot. Plus, the current machines are very precise, which is a major advantage for us. The other area where 3D printing is frequently used is the, let's say, hidden technology. I'm talking mainly about the animation skeletons, the stuff inside the puppet. You know, all the mechanical parts like clips, joints and other components you can't normally see. And because we have multiple versions of our main characters, we could use our 3D printers to produce a large number of identical parts for these puppets. And last but not least, we use 3D printing to create movie props. We could easily print identical objects for various scenes, which made things a lot easier. We knew from various making of documentaries and foreign film production that 3D printing is becoming a popular tool for filmmakers. However, for a long time this technology was very expensive and somewhat inaccessible. It was only during the pre-production itself when we decided that we would use these machines. And one of the main reasons to use this technology were the original Prusa 3D printers. New printers from Prusa Research were on the market and they were the ideal solution for us. These machines didn't cost a fortune and they were also easily accessible. There was, of course, a certain learning curve. We didn't have any experience and we had to learn everything from scratch. But the fact that Prusa Research is a Czech company and they have great technical support and the knowledge base, that helped us a lot in the beginning. So everything clicked together. And what we are doing here is uh, we take pictures of the objects, the animation puppets, and uh, we have 100 puppets in total, of which 82 are completely unique. We build this turntable where we take series of photos of the objects from different sides. 
Then we put these photos together using capturing reality software, which turns them into digital 3D objects. This is a fairly efficient way to create background characters, which are inserted into the scene and animated using CGI. We also scanned our two main characters, the mouse and the fox, and created their CG versions. Basically, we send the photos to our colleagues in France and they use them to create highly detailed 3D models of our main heroes.